To get ahead of the flood threat, some Minnesota homes are moving to higher ground. About 75 mobile homes are on Marina Point in Lake City where the Mississippi River and Lake Pepin meet. Over the past couple of days, the rising river has become a real concern. WCCO's John Lorson talked with residents about the time and expense it takes to protect their property. Well, these steps lead to a very wide beach that you can't see right now, and therein lies the problem because if this river continues to rise, these homes you see behind me will have to be moved. Fabulous area. The lake's beautiful. It's heaven in the summer. But to enjoy Marina Point in the summer, you have to get through the spring. If flooding causes the river to rise just six more inches, Judd Turner might have to pull up stakes and leave the point. Right now, the Mississippi is at about 19 feet in Lake City. Now the concern is getting up when you pull the trailers. Uh, does it happen, you know, at 19, 19 and a half, 20? Workers have been prepping the homes to get them ready in case they have to relocate quickly. They've shut off the power and water, and several homes on the south side of the point have already been moved. There's some people that have been through three of these floods. The mobile homes are mostly used during the summer months, and the last time they saw flooding like this was 2001. We're the fourth trailer over number 35. Mark Swanson has spent the past 16 summers at Marina Point. He talked with us near a road that's now completely submerged. So far, his home is safe, but he's worried about other homeowners. I'm concerned about my neighbors and my friends. Uh, Living down here, you develop a lot of friendships. It can cost a homeowner $5,000 or more to have their home moved with no timetable on when it can return. In Lake City, John Lordson, WCCO News. Count on WCCO's next weather to help you plan and prepare this spring. We are always here for you, rain or shine.